Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your new Keurig K Supreme Plus Smart Coffee Maker. So is your unit dead? Like, it, no, nothing, the display doesn't light up, no power, no nothing. I've got it plugged in and it is completely dead. This could have happened during a descale, or it could have happened like the coffee maker ran out of water and it overheated. There is a thermostat on the inside that we can reset. You're going to need a multimeter and some straight slot screwdrivers because we got to get the outer case off and then a paper clip. So here I've got an original K Supreme and if you look down deep in here there's a thermostat right on the heating element. Here I've got one out of another uh, K Supreme. There's the thermostat and there's a little reset right in the middle. Right there. Now we got to make sure we've got it unplugged for this and we're going to be opening it up, but you got to gain access to it. And we're going to be pressing that button that will reset this thermostat. You don't have to take it out like I did. You'll be able to reset it like this. Now, if your water pump has failed, this will keep tripping. So you'll have to actually replace the water pump or replace the whole unit. But if it just popped open one time because it's kind of overheated, then you can reset it. Okay, we're going to leave the unit unplugged for this process. Okay, to open up the Keurig K Supreme Plus Smart Coffee Maker, the key is to be to remove this little panel here. It pops off to the top. And then this side panel, it, you'll disengage it by lift, by pulling up on it, by doing this. And then you've got to pop the sides off. But first you're going to take the screws off the bottom. It, it's tricky no matter how you do it, but that's kind of the procedure, I think, is pop this off. Then this piece will slide up. And then the side panels pop off and it comes off as an assembly. Now the smart coffee maker has a really nice finish. So we're gonna try to keep that. But if we look down here, we've gotta we got to take out these little feet. So get these, these little feet will come out and then there's a screw underneath those feet. That little rubber comes out and then down in there, there's a Phillips screw. So you only have to take these feet out, this one and this one, you don't, we're not gonna be messing with this up here. So there's some screws we got to take out. Again, Phillips here, here, and here. Okay, now that we've got those three screws out, okay, so you're going to want to pop this top piece off. All of this, this is just snapped on. So you got to get something in there. Pop this top piece off first. Once this top piece is off, you can slide this one up. It's, it's very hard, but you've got to disengage these right here. I broke two on this side, but you got to disengage these from this panel and this panel. We're going to have to start prying this up, this outer case. This outer case is going to pop off. And we just got to kind of get underneath there and then it will start popping off. But let's start from the other side. So on this other side, this flat side where we're going to get to, there are these, these little things you got to right in here. You got to push that. That's going to help us. And then there's one right here. Okay. So then we can just keep, they kind of, it sounds like you're breaking it, but these will pop open. Okay, so once you pop this loose, then you have to pop this loose around here. So the key is to get this little panel off the top, then get this one off. Then these will just pop off. You got to pop these off and then this will come up. Okay, so a little bit different than the old K Supreme. This piece comes off, then you can kind of pop this off and then it will come off of that. Okay, so here we've got the cover off, and here it is. There's that thermostat. It's just like on the K Supreme. Okay, so put your meter leagues across it. Okay, so I'm reading open, open line or overload on the meter. And again, if you get a really long um, paper clip, you can press that center button. All right, so let's press it. Okay, I stuck it in there. 
Okay, so now when I put my meter leads across it, I've got continuity. I had continuity like this. My meter showed like four ohms. So I don't recommend running it with the cover off. We're gonna put the cover back on and then we're going to turn it on. So leave it unplugged for this entire duration. There is electricity right here. So getting the cover off is, or getting it back on is just as fun as getting it off. It's very hard. I did break a few of the little uh, brackets, but I'm gonna start on this side and work my way around. Okay, so you might have to push to get those snaps to snap back in. Getting the electrical cord around that little uh, corner right there was a little tricky. Now we're gonna get this piece on. Again, you gotta line these up and then this will slide down into those hooks. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Now it's time to put this, this is just gonna pop back on now. Okay, so we gotta put our three screws back in and then put those rubber feet back in. Okay, I've got it all back together now. I made sure, make sure you got some water in the tank. Let's plug it in. Okay, that fixed our problem. It powers up now. Awesome. Let's see if we can brew a cake up. So the water pump is working. I can hear the water pump working. If your water pump's not working, you may, that thermostat may pop again. Okay, looks like the water pump's working. So the two reasons I think that that thermostat overheats is if somebody, if you brew a K cup without what, like if the low water light doesn't come on, or if you remove the reservoir accidentally and it runs dry, I think that pops it. But during a D scale, um, you're running so much water through it, I think it overheats a little bit. There is a suggestion out there to let it cool down between the fresh, after you run the D, the vinegar through, and before you start the fresh water rinses, let it cool for 30 minutes. But the machine has to stay in D scale mode. So as long as it stays in D scale mode for that 30 minutes, then do the fresh water rinses. That should let it cool down. So again, the trick is gonna be take the screws out, um, pop this top panel off first, then get this, then get this little piece off, and then you gotta start popping the sides off. Hope the video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.